Absolutely delighted to be joined by Matt Irwin this evening. Fresh off the back of their win at the weekend against Derby County in the FA Cup. Matt, congratulations. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, Martin. Good to be here, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Mate, what an unbelievable result at the weekend. Um, many, many people tuning in to, to watch the game. Obviously, Derby had to field a, a younger 11 in the end due to issues with um, coronavirus and Wayne Rooney and co didn't come to town, but you guys certainly did. Yeah, um, I think we met or spoke about before. You know, it was slightly different, you know, the circumstances um, with, with Rooney and the first team squad not coming to play us, but it was still, like I said, a really good experience and, you know, you know it's great for the club to be able to progress for that next round. It's going to, you know, hold the club in good stead for a few years to come. An absolute fairy tale, wasn't it, really? In front of the BT Sport cameras as well. What, what was it like? Did that add that extra edge to it? I know there wasn't any fans there, but did it add, add that edge having the, the TV cameras and so many millions tuning in to watch you guys? Yeah, of course it does. I mean, it would be quite, it's quite difficult. I mean, at times when you're playing with no, these stadiums with, with no fans behind you, it is difficult to get yourself psyched up for it at times because for me, I think, you know, football is, is pretty much everything. It, football is nothing without fans, to be honest with you. Football needs fans. So hopefully that can can come back as soon as possible. But like you say, being in front of the BT sport cameras is great. And, you know, hopefully we can get the same thing to happen in the next round. You kind of went into the game and, and you would have been the massive underdogs uh, when the draw was made. Um, but all of a sudden, um, with every all the news that was filtering out throughout last week that... Derby had issues within the camp and they were going to have to self-isolate. You guys almost become the, the favourites in the end. Um, did you feel that as a, as a team, Matt? Um, I expected us to win. Um, obviously, I've been through, through the academy system as a young boy. I was at Blackburn um, and I was nowhere near as developed as I am physically now. So I expected, I expected us to win. Um, I knew it would be difficult at the time, obviously, with Derby County being the size of the club they are, they will have a lot of quality. You know, throughout the age groups, that'd be right through, right through every single age group that's in the academy and into the first team. They'll have a lot of, a lot of quality players. But I expect us to win. We've got some quality players in the team who shouldn't be playing at the level that they're at as well. So, yeah, I expect us to win, and, and gladly we did. No, it was a, it was an unbelievable result, and and huge for the club to generate this revenue at such an important time. I guess no fans coming in, so that just that lack of gate receipts but an opportunity to, to go to the fourth round. And, and that must be massive for the for Chorley Town Football Club. Huge, huge, Martin, yeah. Um, I'd say I think we, we've never we've never been into this sort of stage of the competition before. We've never been in the third round before, let alone the fourth. Um, so it's huge and it gives us that extra extra little boost to, to keep progressing. And, you know, like I said, the, the Life Butter Club will go on for much longer now with, with the funding that's come in. Yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. In, in the build-up to the game, um, how, how did you find a couple of days kind of going into the game? Did, did you suffer with any sleep issues? Did you prepare slightly different with it being, a, being an FA Cup tie? Um, to be honest, Martin, I mean, for myself personally, I kind of just go for, just do the same sort of stuff. Um, I think if you get too emotionally involved in, in some games, you know, your performance can differ from it. So I think... You know, I think just to, just to keep what you normally do, stay very relaxed. And, you know, if, if, you, if you are this way and you're confident in your abilities, then everything will be fine. And you all have jobs outside of playing football. I, you know, I saw that you're, your manager's a head teacher of a school. You're out working. So everybody's got their, their life that they're trying to lead as well. And then you're also trying to prepare for a huge football game as well. So it must be quite difficult. Yeah, it is challenging at times. Um, luckily, my boss and... And the people who I work for at Blackpool are really understanding, you know, regarding the hours I do and, and whatever. They, they massively help me out with that sort of stuff. And even though, you know, I do, I do like to put in the hours here at work as well to hopefully, you know, produce that next goalkeeper. But we, um, you know, they're very good and very accommodating with my work. So it's great. When we talk about work, what do you do, Matt? Um, I'm a coach at Blackpool. So I, co I coach the um, under-9s goalkeepers to under-18s at Blackpool. Wonderful. So you're uh, you you you're working keepers, which is brilliant. It's doing what you love as well. Um, anyone to look out for? Any up and coming goalkeepers at, at the club that we should we should look out for? Any particular names? Um, there's a couple. 
But uh, I'd like to, I'd like to keep that um, you know under the under wraps so nobody takes them off me. They need to develop first. <laughs> Going back to the FA Cup, um, obviously the draw is being made this evening. Um, really excited. What number are you in the hat? So for all our viewers that are tuning in, what number are you guys? N number three. Number three. Wow. Yeah, num I think number three. Yeah. So it's we're. Uh, I'm pretty surprised of how high up we are, to be honest. Yeah, Matt, is there anybody in particular that uh, that you would love to face in the next round? Obviously, you want a big side. Is there anyone in particular that you think, oh, I'd love to go and play there or I'd love them to visit us? Um, I think I think you've got to look at the big four, haven't you? You've got to look at the top four, the top four teams. I mean, Liverpool would be definitely one of them. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of friends from Liverpool who, who, who we work with. <laughs> he would love, who I'm sure they'd love to see see uh, see us play against Liverpool. Um, Tottenham, I think Tottenham's new stadium would be great to visit. Um, and I think you know I've always had a dream of playing at Old Trafford. So I think for me personally, I'd love to play away at Old Trafford. You're almost guaranteed that it's probably going to be televised as well. Yeah, exactly. That that sort of tie there would. Would massively, you know, you know, it would it would have a right chance of being and televised, and I think it's great for the club now and great for the for the lads. I think at this sort of stage of the competition now, with, with all that we've done, I think we deserve that really, really big tie. Even even if even if that was to finish off the finish off the run, we deserve that really big tie because some of the lads have, and and you know the the infrastructure around the club with the grounds were sleeping under a tent to get the game on the other day, say stuff that. like that. So he stayed there all night underneath the tent, did he? Yeah, so I think they got some tents in to like bring like heat within like within like the sort of um, the big tent, the big bubble underneath it, because because obviously around Ch the Chorley way it was full of ice, full of snow. So it, it worked wonders, to be fair. You can see on TV there was a there was a lot of snow around the side of the pitch as well. They put a huge amount of effort, didn't they, to get that game on at the weekend? Yeah, massive amounts. Um, and like I said, I think the club's really going in the right direction, and hopefully. Hopefully, you know, this uh, this influx of cash will take it even further. Makes a club so special, doesn't it, when you have the community get involved and 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 play a big part as well. And they probably go a little bit unrecognised. I mean, you, you, obviously, you see the team, but those people behind yeah. the scenes were so important at the weekend and absolute credit to that groundsman. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think with the, the lifeblood of clubs like Chorley is, is volunteers. There's, there's so many volunteers. There's... There's two young lads called Dave and and CD who work there. You know, work work the plums off to for the lads as well. So you know, it's it's massive, massive for the club. So we just got to hope for a big draw in that next round, Matt. We'll, we'll we'll be tuning in this evening. Fingers crossed, you get Liverpool away or Man United, and and we look forward to seeing you in the in the next round. Matt, how your gloves been? You still enjoying your uh, your roll fingers? Brilliant, yeah, love them. It was really, amazing really like it. on TV at the weekend. We loved it. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? They were fantastic, great, mate. Honestly. You didn't have much to do, Matt, in the end, did you? you no, no. You weren't very busy, were you at all? No. Um, I think, you know, with the young lads playing against someone like Scott, one of our centre halves, they probably haven't seen anyone like him before. So I think that's where, that's why I was pretty quiet. And like, other than the first five minutes where the referee gave, gave a penalty, which was never a penalty. Other than that. Yeah. You know, didn't even have a great deal to do, but I suppose if that goal goes in at that time, you know, it could be a different story. So totally sometimes, it. yeah, sometimes in those big moments, if you've, you've got to make sure that you're you're there, really. Yeah, no, it's so important, Matt. I want to wish you all the very best for the for the next round of the FA Cup. We'll catch up maybe in 